Welcome, my name is John Kakmerinsky, and today I want to talk to you about knowledge. One of the primary concerns for most companies is the ability to retain the information and the knowledge of their employees when that employee is on vacation or has been promoted or has completely left the company. The idea of being able to capture the knowledge inside of each employee's head leads to what is known as knowledge management, uh, which is most commonly seen inside of a known error database. Otherwise, it's uh, referred to as a knowledge base. Now, most internal knowledge bases are going to be either a web-based portal, such as a wiki, uh, or even just a network location, a, a single shared drive where all IT support staff have access or it could even be something to the equivalent of either the local C drive or uh, something like a USB stick, but it is one location that is searchable, it is organized, and it's available to those clients. So whether it is a USB media stick that you hand off to each of your technicians, or it's a network location that they uh, map a drive to so they can do a search, or it's a web-based portal. It literally depends on how you want to introduce this to your company. Now, what most clients will say is, oh, we're gonna have to build a new process. We have to, like from now on, every time you respond to a support call, you must do this and then follow up. Those, th that'll cause failure. Don't try to introduce new technology, like we're gonna go out and buy this huge, uh, expensive software product. What you wanna do is just do what you normally do, and we're just gonna modify the process just a little bit. And we're gonna use the tools that you already have at your hands. You may not know about it, but that's what we're here for. We're gonna introduce you to what is known as a steps recorder. This is in built into Windows 8, 10, Server 2012. In Windows 7 and Server 2008, it was called the Problem Steps Recorder. But the idea of this is as a support technician, I can go in and troubleshoot, solve a problem, or do a process that only I know how to do capturing it and therefore other people in my company would then have access to it. So the way I would start this is I would just come down, type in the word step, doesn't matter if you're on Windows 7 or anything else. Again, steps recorder or problem step recorder. I start the initiation and when I hit start record, this is now gonna actually do a screen capture. So if I would come down and type in gpedit.msc, so I can go ahead and edit the group policy. I could then work my way through finding the information that I know where it is to be found. And then of course, other technicians could be able to view it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my record because much like anybody else, there's really no reason for you to see my partial. I'll actually open up an example of what it would have looked like had I fit, finished out. Every single time I clicked on my mouse, it actually shows you the user left clicked on the tree view. If you want to see close up, again, because it's an HTML file, I can literally click, see it full size, minimize it again. Walks me through. It allows you to pause, make comments, but it is a screen capture. Now, at any time when I type text, it will not capture it. It will literally just say the user has typed text. But normally on the screen next to it, the next screenshot, you'll see it. So of course we will never capture passwords because those are always masked. But if I also wanted to pause and maybe add the password, I can again hit user comment and then type in something, which will then of course show up. So in this case it was, I wanted to hide the D drive. And as I work my way through it, this standalone HTM file, this is something that any technician can go ahead and follow through. Because it is a registry change, I could even go ahead and say, well, this happened to have been done on Windows 10, but it could easily have been done on Windows 7 or Windows 8. So I, again, would just add in my keywords so that way you would actually be able to, to search for it. I could then put it into 
desktop troubleshooting or maybe security. Maybe you have both masks. But the idea is I did this normal process. I didn't change anything other than the addition of starting the steps recorder. That tool is built into every single Windows platform. So it is not a third party product that I have to remember to add. It is there for you. Once you start this new altered process, you will soon find that you are introducing an environment where everyone can learn from each other. Even if it seems that everyone's so busy, there's no time to do official sort of traditional cross training. But if I have that screenshot, if I have that sort of step-by-step -step process, I can normally follow through. And if not, at least then I have directed questions rather than just, I don't know what to do.